What's going on, everyone? Coming to y'all with some more arena gameplay. Uh, finally got my audio fixed. Uh, sorry about the last video. I didn't realize that uh, the volume was going to be so loud and overpower my voice. And I've leveled the volume out. It's actually pretty uh, quiet now. I'm debating just muting it all together. But I'm uh, going to play some more magic here on arena. I've actually built a new deck. It's a red green dinosaurs deck. And uh, I'm going to see how it does. I know that the game actually gives you a dinosaur deck. At a certain point, but I've never bothered looking at it. I just decided that I would have more fun building my own. And I've had some pretty good luck with it here recently. I can take on the Merfolk decks and the Vampire decks pretty easily. The Surveil deck kind of gives me a headache. But if I can slam a Carnage Tyrant, I can usually deal with them. So, let's see what happens. I do know that I need to cut Gigantosaurus out of this list because I can't uh, reduce its cost. So, it's kind of hard to get out on curve. Probably better for the mono green stompy deck that I have rather than this one. But, you know, it is what it is. If only I had a fling effect, I would definitely keep it in here. So, I can turn one Llanowar Elves. Get this down turn two. Okay, yeah, so I can get down the Llanowar Elves turn one, slam the Timber Gorge turn two, and then turn three the Needle Tooth, and then get out this Montresor? Yeah, I'll keep this. Say hello to our opponent. And they have mulligans, so that's good for us. Okay. We will also turn one Llanowar Elves. There's that Gigantosaurus like I was talking about. It's kind of awkward with mountains, so... Yeah, I'm probably going to end up cutting this from the list. And looks like they're either on Elves or some kind of big green strategy. No blocks. Get down this gorge. No attacks. Pass it back. So yeah, they're either trying to ramp out something huge or they're on some kind of elf deck. No blocks. And we're going to punish them for, uh, for their aggressive aggressiveness on our next go-around. But for now, we'll just slam the needle tooth, and that should deter them from wanting to attack us with these dorks anymore. They have got a lot of mana going. Alright, so, slam the Montresor. Well, I can't. I need one more mana. Okay, so instead, I will Rabid Bite, have my Needle Tooth, put the Hurt on that Llanowar Elves. Slow down their ramp. No attacks. Pass it back. Next turn, I can get down this Charging Montresor. And then another one. And then maybe I can get on a car uh, Carnage Tyrant sometime. There's a mountain. So they're also on Dinosaurs. Uh, but it looks like they're on the green-white variant. Let's go ahead and slam this Montresor. Swing in with it. They jump. That's fine. Um... Hmm... I think I want to just cut their mana off. Yeah, that's fine. Take them both out. And they've got to be losing some, some gas. That is a Galta. That is going to be great. So let's slam this Montresor. Go in with both of these. See what they can do. Alright, no blocks. So yeah, the, uh, the dinosaur deck has been pretty solid. If I can just ramp out my dinosaurs ahead of curve, I can usually just get some opponents to concede on the spot. So... Um, I got, I, I'm going to go to combat first. Let's go ahead and get in with these two again. And then second main, I'm going to slam this Carnage Tyrant. See if they scoop. Okay, Frenzied Raptor, no big deal. Yep, and there's the scoop. <laughs> so, red-green dinosaurs for the win. This deck is just so aggressive, and I can get some really big threats out with Trample really quickly. Uh, as you saw, the, giant, uh, the Gigantosaurus was kind of awkward because we just didn't have the mana to cast it. And without Trample, it's kind of hard to get it through. I could always run other effects to give it Trample, but I think I'd rather just have more copies of the Carnage Tyrant or even the... Uh, the 5-5 five five with Trample and Haste, so... 
that has been another game on Arena. I will definitely be doing a few more of these. It's kind of, it's a lot of fun. To me, Arena feels like an upgrade over Duels of the Planeswalkers, but it doesn't feel like actual magic quite yet. Kind of like an overdeveloped game of Limited. Um, it's enjoyable, it's just I'm not entirely sure if I see the game going into uh, competitive events in the future. I just don't know that it'll replace Magic Online in that sense. I'm not even sure it's supposed to, but it is fun. Definitely worth downloading just to mess around with it. You don't have to buy any, pay, put any money into the game, so that's always nice. Well, I'll uh, see you guys in the next video.